So what happens when someone copies your entire book and puts it online? Well, this week on Click, we'll find out as French publishers and authors try to bring Google to book over its plans for the world's largest digital library. Verily. Or Click, I'm Spencer Kelly. In the first half of next year, Google plans to put millions of the world's books online. Big task. But is this giant digital library the most exciting research tool since man first put pen to paper? Or is it copyright infringement on an industrial scale? David Reeve reports from Paris. Google says it has already scanned 10 million books as part of its library project. The company appears to be planning two things, to charge people for access to its enormous online collection of books and through Google Editions to act as a selling agent of books both digital and physical. But not everyone is so thrilled about how Google has gone about digitising so many books against the wishes of many authors and publishers. The French publisher La Martiniere has taken the company to court. What I find a bit scandalous is that a company like Google can come and copy and digitise works published by this company without asking our permission and without paying either the authors or the publishers. And what ruffles La Martiniere's pages even more is that he launched his court case three years ago, and in that time, Google has continued merrily scanning away. I find this intolerable. It's like someone comes to your house and takes your furniture and says, if you want to come and get them back, you can, but in the meantime, they're mine. That I don't understand. And La Martiniere is not alone. German Chancellor Angela Merkel recently laid into Google on her weekly video blog. She said her government rejected the scanning of books without any copyright protection, like Google is doing. Copyrights must be protected on the internet, she said. As for Google, they say they obey local laws and are applying to have the La Martiniere case heard in the United States, where the copying took place and where the law allows you to show excerpts of copyrighted books. The law in France forbids it. If the publisher has granted us permission to display a, a percentage of the book, we will do so. If not, then you will only see a snippet, a, a little abstract or fragment. So, so as you can see, the, uh, we, we're very much aware of the differences. And what's interesting here is that more than 30,000 publishers uh, uh, have granted, that, uh, granted us permission to display this, uh, 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 this preview. Because if there's something that we all agree on, publishers, authors, booksellers, readers, Google, is that by allowing a user to preview a book, it is more uh, he or she is more likely to click on the link to buy the book. While Google is yet to come to a blanket legal arrangement with European authors and publishers, a US agreement may be in sight. As we came to air, Google was still ironing out differences with US rights holders. At the same time, it's trying to satisfy the concerns of competition regulators there that Google wouldn't drive up the price of digital books. There appears then to be an Atlantic divide over Google's library project. The European Union's Europeana project to digitise library collections was first mooted as a counter to Google and to keep art, culture and out-of-print books free from commercial control. And you can't get much more out-of-print than this book. Pierre Guinard, the keeper of old books in Lyon, says it's the only one of its kind. Written by Nostradamus in 1554, it predicts what's going to happen in 1555. So what's going to happen in 2010? Well, though there's opposition from some quarters to Google's project, some libraries eager to move with the times see Google's commercial ambitions as a chance to get their collections digitised at no cost.
Les bibliothèques qui ne numériseront pas leurs collections, à mon avis, disparaîtront. Les libraires qui ne numérisent pas collections, in my opinion, disappearent from the cultural landscape. Our aim is not to supply a private company with digital versions of our books, but to have digital versions so we can build a digital library. Nous avons estimé que la numérisation des 500 000 volumes que nous allons numériser. We estimated that to digitize our 500,000 books would cost us 60 million euros. We don't have 60 million euros. Nous devions payer pour la numérisation. Nous n'avons pas 60 millions d'euros. Google is not so much interested in conserving our literary heritage as commercially exploiting digital versions of it. And while Google has legal issues to deal with, Europe may need to think hard about money for culture. Europe wants to digitize its collections with no commercial strings attached. However, it looks like it will have to pay for it first. David Reed, a gentleman and a scholar. Okay, next up, the latest technology news from around the world.